Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. Two men, uh, or brother in arms, or no, I will call it Army of Two Legendary Iron Man run. We're going to try to beat the entire game with only a squad size of two. Um, that being said, we have been uh, remarkably successful so far after a um, quote unquote successful Gate Crusher mission. We just get our um, rears handed to us in the last mission, and now it's time for a catch up. More specifically, we are going to meet um, with uh, the last in the next mission. It's going to be a mission where we hopefully take zero damage and uh, get a couple of promotions going. You can already see uh, that um, it's a two-soldier mission, which for us makes absolutely no difference because that's uh, our normal squad size. I want to stress, though, that we're this time taking a sharpshooter with us. It's Edgar Alien Poe. I want to level the sharpshooter as well, which means we're going to take a look. What his uh, loadout is going to look like. Marksman rifle is the rifle from the uh, DLC pack. We have nothing other than frag grenades, uh, but we have a bit of a cooler um, looking armor. Yep. So this is actually going to be fun. If we're successful, and I think we are, um, we're getting our first uh, scientist plus intel. There's another team of two. And this time it's going to be Renman here, who needs the right colors. This time Renman is not playing as a Grenadier, he's an Assault. His loadout will be the Scatter Gun, traditional sword. Right? And we got Noxus here, who's the absolute rookie. Rocking his Assault Rifle. Yep, Noxus, welcome to the team. Good to have you on board. <laughs> I'm still puzzled by the 50 days of uh, recovery that Roby is going to uh, to take. That's a full two month um, recovery just from the first mission. Sucks being him. All right, although we are escorting the Reaper, I think our first contact will be with the Templar. At least that was the option that I was selecting. So we might be able to get the Templar first. All right, there we go. about the skirmisher contact you'll be meeting other than his name Mox. Mox. so i should be able to play this mission without taking any injuries and just very solidly running through everything you would dare do this pretty sure hands are bloody on both if i'm not mistaken there is no timer here this intervention reapers are born in the shadows in the cold harsh world that was waiting for us out there we rely on stealth and long range attacks and we can use a couple of the loss um, to get a, a few bonus experience points. I don't mind that all too much. Because let's let's be honest here for a second. It's going to be difficult enough. I'm not going to quote unquote lame uh, strategy uh, this whole run, which is quite literally now waiting and doing wave after wave after wave after wave. Uh, just to get more experience, but um, let's put it this way. If we're making a bit more than average noise, and we're, we're finding some uh, lost ones, I'm not going to deny the fact that we will get some extra XP. 
I'm not. And the ones that need the experience uh, the most... ...are the soldiers that are actually going to be on the missions, namely Zirkin. And probably also our sniper. Alright, they spotted us. That's good. I like it. We're looking at only two hit points, so that really shouldn't be much of an issue. Unless we're missing, of course, in which case even... Two hit points is too much. Perhaps the result of long term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. So why anyone would subject themselves to that, I cannot imagine. When the government fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as All right. Time to kill a couple of them. It's one down. True strength lies in their numbers. As you can see, they fall easily. If we are careful with our shots, we will prevail. That's two down. Good Back and we're looking to Overwatch. Overwatch. Again. It, I don't have any reason to speed this one up for now. We are going to move once everything's clear. But I'm not going to force myself to not kill every single one of them. Ironically, they count just as much as a normal um, enemy would, and that really uh, means a lot. Because effectively what it does is it'll let you level up your characters quite fast. Getting on this other balcony will be crucial for us. We have a really, really nice uh, view here. We have to turn into these things. Yes. All we can offer them now is a merciful death. Come on it. The Reapers are always covering, covering now. These creatures are worse even than Advent. They have no cause. No fear. They so, exist. let's just start attracting them, shall we? Through the door, very solid hit. There we go. <laughs> All right. There, there's a certain. The, the reason why I'm laughing, uh, laughing is there is a certain like consistency within all of my games. No matter how hard the game, no matter uh, what kind of mission I'm playing, I can almost bet that we are going to be bad at Overwatch shots. Back 
Okay, we certainly haven't triggered anything else. Uh, did I accidentally just use a grenade here? Uh, Zirkim must have slipped with his finger. How uncareful. Giant explosions can uh, trigger additional loss, and it would be really a shame if we would need to fight more of them. Anyway, so on the later missions, usually they get reinforcements. I just wanted to use the opportunity. I think I heard something. To explode something. Apparently that was uh, not successful. Yeah, it's not that advice to make haste. Let's not over haste everything. Let's study a bit of the swarm before we leave, shall we? We shouldn't draw over hasty conclusions. Who knows how they react to more bullets? You never know. Unless you try, of course. Oh, look! You can kill them. Sweet, sweet XP. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, actually, uh, we're currently trying to... Uh, to... kind of get at least a level out of uh, this whole exercise here. There we go. Couple of extra um, ability points. Another ability point. That's good. Like it. Right, Edgar Alien Poe moves on. I think over here, yep, right there was another pack. Yep, I was right. Let's get this guy. Very nice. Eh, almost. Which means we're reloading, killing this guy, and overwatching. Alright, got a promotion for our grenadier. I would say where we can attract a couple more. So
I mean, we're looking at a lot of explosions. Let's get the sniper another kill and hopefully a promotion. Still no promotion. Target neutralized. Biological readings in your general area are clear. No more creatures on approach. For now. Then let's not linger here. Head to the evac coordinate now. I'll keep an eye on it. Got it covered. On the move. I somewhat disagree with the let's not linger here now, but I promise to not camp the area. And quite frankly, since I've never used the camping strategy, I'm not even sure, entirely sure if that would allow us to kill unlimited uh, ones. My watch begins. A momentary victory. Others are surely on the way. We must keep moving. No argument here. Continue to the rendezvous point. Location confirmed. Well, we killed all of them. Unfortunately, no more enemies here. You should have a clear path through now. Second squad is already en route to Mox. Proceed to the rendezvous and await their arrival. Oh, we'll be there. So that was the first half of the mission. So far, so good. Like I said, I should be able to pull off the mission without actually taking any casualties and any damage. Oh, wait a second. No, 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 no. At the end, we're fighting against... I don't want to uh, say something that's untrue. I think we're fighting against the Chosen for the first time Looks afterwards. Like trouble ahead. The rendezvous could be compromised. Stay focused. Contact! Get down! We may have a bigger problem here. I'm guessing that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crock side. Advent. All right. Rendezvous with Outriders further ahead. Proceed through this district as quickly as possible, but be careful. Something tells me this city still has a few more surprises to throw our way. Surprises are the least of our worries today. It is these Reapers of yours that are of true concern. We, the Skirmishers, were created by the false gods of this world to serve... Good, so this time we don't have a scout. We, retain all that we, we have the Skirmisher, though. And that's going to be great fun to use it for the first time. Over the game period, like specifically the last uh, run that I had, I started to uh, like them more and more. I gave them a pretty hard time for not really competing well with the other classes. But in reality, they do have their niche application. And they are incredibly powerful in regularly shifting um, actions from one uh, character to another. I'm even considering to which degree they are useful in this run, because if you do have an extremely powerful uh, character, let's say a sniper with a lot of uh, damage output, de facto what you do with him is you're uh, doubling the power. But then again, you might as well play with two snipers. I don't have the complete answer to what's the best two-man um, uh, team for this run. But maybe we can use the time whilst advancing a little bit here to uh, talk about my thoughts. So far, um, as far as I'm concerned, uh, action economy is king. So I'm going to look for ways to optimize it. And 
um, of course, any form of additional help, whether that's an, an extra uh, body on uh, on the field or any form of um, of any form of additional mind control, uh, you name it, ability uh, is extremely helpful. So I figure that the final final team that I would want to run is either um, a combination of probably a combination of um, of a specialist and a psionic, maybe a combination. Um, of, a, of either of these two classes um, with the Templar. Uh, the Templar mainly for any form of boss fights that you could imagine, because the Templar's parry ability, specifically for larger enemies, allows you to almost negate their attack power. So it's quote unquote a crowd control in itself by just having the parry, uh, the parry uh, ability readily and available all the time. So, depending, I, I already looked a little bit into how I can skill them also with the extra uh, point, uh, uh, build points, and a Templar with uh, Reaper um, and Bladestorm it's a really, really, really scary um, foe. So I'm thinking about maybe using this as an offensive weapon and then having whatever character enables uh, this Reaper um, as a second okay. character. And I was thinking about the Specialist just because the Specialist, if you have a bond together with... Uh, um, did I just say Reaper? I meant Templar, of course. Bladestorm Templar. Um, with uh, the Reaper ability. Uh, so multiple uh, hits, multiple kills. The only problem that I've uh, found out with uh, Templars and Reaper is that the uh, Reaper overrides their parry ability. It's kind of like the orb effects with uh, Warcraft 3. Um, you can only have one active at a time, so kind of a trigger on kill effect. Only one of uh, them can be active. Uh, so if you do have uh, the uh, the Reaper ability active, you can't have the um, Parry ability active at the same time, which is really a shame, uh, but probably it would have made it a bit too strong. So yeah, Templar, very interesting proposition. I was thinking about uh, using that. Uh, not sure yet, not sure yet. Um, so that's as far as I've taken the run. The couple of times that I have tried the run, I wasn't terribly successful. The first missions always were really, really difficult to pull off. And I haven't really found a very convincing um, combination so far. Um, another option that I was thinking for non-timed missions is Sniper plus, um, plus Reaper because that'll allow you to effectively kill most of the enemies on the battlefield um, without really needing to worry all too much. I think it's a, another pretty strong uh, synergy that you can leverage. Not sure yet how, how I feel about them in timed missions. Another argument for the specialist on timed missions is many of the timed missions require you to hack something and clearly with the uh, with the gremlin that's much much easier if you do have um, a specialist available kind of goes without saying purifiers may be down but unfortunately that was our extraction point. I fear that is not the worst of it. Multiple biological signatures rapidly on approach to your position. The lost. The sound of combat excite them. They are drawn to it. And you just blew up a fuel truck? There was no other choice. Find an alternate exit. Nice! So many losts. Docile as the rest of their kind. 
an apt description. It would seem the mutation has somehow accelerated these dashers' metabolism, allowing enhanced speed and agility, with a corresponding increase in aggression. A long run. Moving back, we're going to sling ourselves up here with uh, uh, with our skirmisher. Oh, nice. Hello. Most of the city. I would expect a significant reaction from the law. The only reaction I will accept from them is their deaths. Find us that base. Such a coincidence that we do have a shotgun, which deals four points of damage. Even the rookies can hit something. Taking the high ground. That's, by the way, one of the few spots where we're completely immune. They can't reach it. One kill. That's a miss. <laughs> That's another miss. Good job. Alright, Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch. God, Noxus isn't bad. Matter of fact, he has hit every single shot so far. Pretty good. Love it. You know what? Let's continue this streak. Well, well, that's a pity. The moment that you start praising them, it immediately gets to their head and they start to suck. Alright, at least Renvin hits a couple of shots. Another Overwatch. Reload, Overwatch, reload, and Overwatch. Pretty sensitive to noise. The sounds of combat are likely to draw even more of them. We found a new route that should get you to the rendezvous point safely. The lost are still converging on the area, so make it fast. That will not I don't know if we need to make it that fast. You know? Roger that. Sometimes the sorrow cleaning isn't the worst idea. Lost Swarm appears. From where? Ooh. There we go. Alright, alright. It looks like a lot. And maybe it is a lot.
Target down. Got him. Running dry on ammo. Hostile neutralized. I need ammo. Good to go. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of enemies right there. Enemy destroy. All right, wait a second. This here should kill two. And maybe the sound will attract more. Totally accident, uh, totally by accident, a loud explosion. Hmm. Let's take the shot. For the free. All right. We're looking at all of them dead with the exception of one. We unfortunately did uh, blow two grenades. Well, and another car exploded. I mean, really, what can you do? Sometimes things just start to explode, right? Uh, Okay, I'm making sure that we have an option to flee. That's why I'm positioning everyone just in case we need to hit the road. No trespassers. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Another gigantic swarm appears. Target neutralized. Target eliminated. All right. One down. And another one down. Wow, seriously? Okay, let me think about it. Hostile neutralized. Burning through ammo fast. 
Um, yeah. So let's make sure that we get most of the ones that are close out of the way first. We are putting ourselves in a position where we can't be reached with just one move. That way we're going to be safe. Again, no need to sweat it. As long as they can't reach you, they can move up all they want. What? I take everything back. I was under the impression they needed to single move and then hit. I was utterly wrong. We certainly don't want to lose Noxus here after he got promoted. I mean, he's going to face 50, uh, 50 days in uh, the rehab anyways, but still. Okay, we're not yet done. I think the Chosen is still around in the next mission. Need to be a bit careful with Noxus. Good enough. Come on. Can I please skip the loading screens? Rendezvous point directly ahead. Your Reapers face a being such as this. They appeared without warning years ago. Had they not, we would have already regained our home. <laughs> Such arrogance. All right, the assassin is somewhere here. I am not one of their instruments. I'm on the move. Let's take a sneak peek and see what we're dealing with. So if I'm not mistaken, the assassin should be somewhere over here. At least that's where she usually is. Should have reloaded everyone before uh, going into this mission. I did not remember that the ammunition uh, count is actually being carried over. That's a big miss. Should have known that. Get 
Yeah, the assassin is immune to uh, to Overwatch any uh, to Overwatch fire, anyways. Oh, there we go. She just arrived. I wasn't sure if she was already there. It's been a while. Okay, three plus attacks will be wilder her for additional damage, and Reapers increase uh, damage on her generally. Um, can enter Overwatch upon ending her turn. That sucks, but it's okay, and does not trigger Overwatch's reaction shots. At least she doesn't have a summoning ability yet. So that's actually not too bad. So that's where she appeared. And I would take a absolute wild guess by saying she's probably somewhere around here. By standing here, we would cover all of this, which means we would see her. Well, we would already see her if she's here. By getting behind this furniture here, we would also see if she's inside. You know what? This here is actually not a bad place to be. There we go, spotted her out. That's helpful. She's behind solid cover. And we'll need to get rid of her armor. So from this point of view, might just move in. First things first. This year we'll light up the car, which means she cannot step behind the car. There's the shredded damage, and it's first hit for her. Fifty-fifty. Not the best chances, but it's actually also not too terrible. If I were to move over here, I could probably grapple at least here. This would be an optimal position to grapple. But I'm not sure if the grappling hook will allow me to do that. We're going to see. Yep, barely. That's a nice little flanking spot, which means that's the second hit. From now on, we're talking about bewildering shots which is additional damage to her. We do not yet have run and gun, so the question I'm asking myself is, shall we move over here? But that wouldn't be a flanking position. Uh, close, but not quite. Let's take the 50-50 first. It's actually going to be a nice little option to to hit her. There we go, that's a beautiful hit. And we're looking at bewildering uh, shots. Oh, come on. We weren't done yet. Come on. Mm. 
Moving as ordered. Roger that. Yeah, that's... The difficult part was actually the fight against her. Everything from now on should be way more easy. A couple of bonus kills. Let's see how we're going to uh, deal with the bonus kills. Okay, so basically, we're trying to steal further level up uh, Zirkim. I think he just received his next promotion. And let's also try to level up Edgar Alien Poe. Okay, so far so good. This here, by the way, is probably one of the maps where you could pull off a nigh unlimited amount of experience because they just keep on respawning and spawning and spawning and spawning. Uh, we just got spotted out. I was hoping that they wouldn't find her. How many of these creatures can still be in this city? Right, one down. Two down. Everybody gets a couple of kills, like it. Getting back into concealment. Alright, lots of over uh, overwatches. We're slowly moving there. Again, I had nothing like particularly exciting uh, to to rush through it. We're just trying to take as many kills as we can. And I'm gladly taking the extra loss spawns because that's a couple of extra kills. And without, uh, with the exception of this event, there really ain't that many um, uh, places where you can level all of the soldiers. On the other mi missions, there, there won't be a converging of that many soldiers. Chat wide. No a 
I did not exist when this city stood whole. Still, I feel revulsion at what happened to this place, to these people. I believe you. I love the dialogues, guys. Keep it on, but uh, keep it up. But I still want to continue killing, so we actually can speed this up a little bit. Right, Overwatch. That's affirmative. Affirmative, covering now. Moving out. There's yet a full another pack. a day when my people take back this place for our own if they are all like you that is a likely possibility understood moving out all right moving on a couple more kills Okay, almost there. Couple of extra loss. Once they are done, we're going to pull the next swarm. And then we should be able to move through the building. Well, I think the second swarm just pulled itself. Detecting additional loss converging near the evacuation coordinates. I advise caution. It would seem the lost are armed to our strategy. It is the elders' will that this alliance fall. It will take more than mere loss for that to happen. Interesting. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a couple of these guys down. Got Weapons burning ammo fast. Still trying to feed the sniper with a couple extra kills. Enemy eliminated. It's killing time. I'm on it. On my way. Let's rock. Close 
All right, these guys should be soon done. Like, it's only three or four more in there. And that's pretty much about it. These are the last three, and then we can move on. there so no more swarm for now And since we're going closer to the actual spawn place of the swarm, the swarm can never spawn like directly next to your squad. It's always spawning a bit away. So you will see now that we're entering the house, the spawn is actually going to spawn further away. The sheer magnitude of the biomass converging upon this position is staggering. Our team does not evacuate now. Trust me, Doctor. They know. Moving out. All right, many overwatch shots. Really not that much happening. We're going to kill them. And afterwards we're going to extract ourselves. The explosion has maybe delayed it for one more round. The explosion just, uh, for those of you who don't know, there's a constant timer here. Every three rounds the uh, the lost spawn and the explosion just reduced the timer by one. Okay. Which has basically created just another spawn right away. Right, moving in or moving further in, seeing a movement action. We're going to scout out the final escape zone, and the rest is really Overwatch. Care 
care of. They won't fight no more. Well, this time they actually did a pretty decent overwatch, I must admit. And there we go. There is indeed another spawn, uh, swarm spawning like right after this. But we should be able to extract. So this here is complete extraction. We got one injured soldier, rest went pretty much according to plan. The entire swarm converges upon us. We cannot hold this position much longer. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit? Wonderful. Our new alliance with these outlying resistance factions presents an intriguing. All right, so we got another grenadier, and only thirty days. I mean, that's almost nothing, right? Renman here got thirty-five kills, uh, which is pretty impressive. And we're probably going down the Blade Master route because I'm hoping that we might be able to get a Blade Storm with him. Well, he automatically gets Blade Storm and Reaper. Hmm. Yeah, nevertheless, that'll be helpful. All right. Uh, as for our sniper, Long Watch. And Zirkin gets Shredder. Uh, 
Got ourselves a scientist and a lot of intel. Okay, got a capture, that's fine. And although we were starting at the Templars, we got Dragonova. It's probably because I still have enabled the original storylining. I would have needed to disable that. Uh, never mind, we're going to go with her. It's maybe not the worst, um, the worst thing ever. Yeah, that's a, an okay bond, but I actually want another bond. Wait a second, who acquired the bond? Soldier bonds? With Edgar and Poe, yeah, perfect. That's exactly what we were looking for. At Galleon Po plus Dragonova. There we go. Because these two here, nice, they updated the Reaper uh, symbol. Look at that. Looks um, reworked. I like it. So these two can actually take missions together then. I like it. For untimed missions, that'll be a strong combination, and we got a couple of corporals, although our roster looks really shaken. As for the research, um, let's think it through. Uh, we need magnetic weapons relatively soon. 42 days still sucks a lot, but it's probably... there is not much that we can do about it. Just made contact with a new faction of the resistance known as the Reapers. They're an elusive bunch, but this is Yeah, the Reapers are our first faction logically. And it's okay. So this is the commander. Dragonova spoke highly of you and the rest of your team. It means we're again fighting against the assassin first, but maybe that's a better choice than fighting against the warlock first. Which sucks as well. So, with the Reapers, I can at least um, pull off a couple of cheesy uh, strategies in, in some of the missions where I need to scout something. I.e. this mission here. With the Reaper, if we solo mission it, we would probably be able to retrieve the black uh, uh, the black vial or at least get to it so we definitely with reaper we definitely can uh, run normal factories solo so maybe it's not the worst idea just to stay in the game because the doom clock will be a problem for us that's usually what screwed my other runs Rookies are actually not what we're looking for. I don't need really many more rookies. Gain intel is probably a better choice at that point. Black market, make a connection uh, with the next region. All of that is a better choice. Perfect. Let's build the resistance ring right away. And since I consider the resistance ring to be absolute crucial, I'm even speeding it up. Um, we're almost done with uh, the with consuming all of the power. So probably the next. Well, we maybe will get one more building in the GTS, but then we we need additional power. 
Anyways, resistance ring definitely. We used almost all of our supplies in order to do that. Still getting some solid intel here. Set of the rookies. And there we go. Up. This will allow us to expand. These findings will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Commander, if we intend on Do we want to reuse um, the PCSs unlimited amounts of time? It's actually not as good as other breakthroughs. So I'm not sure. The advantage of it is if you have a larger roster, you can reuse the PCSs without like wasting them, quote unquote. Um, reality is we don't have a large roster. And reality is as well, we will have a problem getting through the early game. So I guess we're actually going to skip this one. We're going to go for biotech and then magnetic weapons. I will send word as soon as we have something of note. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating. All right, making contact. That's AT Intel. intel to make contact. Let's directly start with it. There's absolutely no reason why we wouldn't be able to do that. So we failed an operation, but we got a lot of other operations done. So overall, 150 income isn't too bad. Let's see what the Chosen is up to. Permanently lowering XCOM's income. That's actually not too bad. It is super good, to be honest. Tech and Sonic defenses are doubled. Do not care. That here is more difficult. Sled rounds is, is really difficult. New recruits cost only 15. Oh, that is wonderful. Between the eyes. Look at our luck. Perfect. Any XCOM shot that hits a loss is an instant headshot kill. Yeah, I'm not even going to think about what I'm, uh, whether this or the recruiting center. That's awesome. Because it will allow us to, even with two soldiers, to, to very much deal with the um, loss. Okay, so we got a form soldier's bond, which isn't too bad. We have a bond, however. We could get Praetor um, Mox back. Oh no, it's just unlock a mission to rescue the captured soldier. Well, well, let me say, I think that through the reward with the plus one health is promising. But this here is a promotion. Ah, damn, we don't have a sergeant. That's actually pretty, pretty damn good. We should do this as soon as possible. Getting, getting a promotion on top of it is very, very nice. So I think we're going to go for this one here. Giving Dragonova plus one health because she's the only soldier that we could uh, put on the mission, but is currently available. And yeah, there we go. We'll get the job done. Don't worry, Commander. Commander, the 
Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's reach. But that means nothing on the local comms. So oh, beautiful. So we're having a retaliation site right there. And we got zero soldiers. And we're forced to a two man squad. Yeah, let me think whether or not I would want to put two tired soldiers in and risk them being uh, injured, or if I just sacrifice two rookies. It's probably going to be two rookies. Um, the next mission is not going to be fun at all. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to see each other in the next mission. It's been a blast so far. See you very soon. Bye-bye.